morning guys welcome back to the channel I got a great video today uh, hopefully it's the final day I'm actually in route to pick up the, uh, the Ross Warnemont designs FXR fairing that you guys have seen in previous two episodes um, paints finally done <clears throat> took a lot longer than I expected uh, the gentleman that painted the, the fairing Tom Hannigan, TH Customs, Customs with a K. I'll leave his link in the description below. But uh, he was in Daytona, along with a lot of other vendors. Um, but we finally got it done. Excited to uh, get the day going. It's 8.30 in the morning. Gonna, gonna knock this out today. And uh, just can't wait to finish this project and start riding. Riding season's basically here. It's getting a little bit warmer here in New Jersey. Uh, finally, um, just excited to, to get out there and start riding more again. Uh, be done with all these modifications um, <clears throat> with the bike. So, if you're new to the channel, uh, hopefully I'll uh, I'll earn your subscription uh, after this uh, this video and. Um, you appreciate the support, and uh, I'll, I'll check back in with you guys when uh, I get to the painter, show you what the, uh, show you what the final product looks like, and get that puppy home and get going on the install. So, stay tuned. guys so I didn't get a chance to fire off video when I was picking up the the fairing from the painter but there it is vivid black to match the bike a little disappointed they didn't spray on the inside which we discussed but I could do that at a later point in time um, not the end of the world or anything it's, it's a raw look anyway but uh, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get this prepped for the turn signals before I start mounting it. So, try to pick this up with one hand. All right. So, I'm gonna start getting that set up right there. And uh, you know, I'll come back shortly. All right, let me try to show you guys what I'm doing here, okay? So these are the stock turn signals, okay? Um, I've already pulled them off my handlebars way back in the day, but I you know, held on to them. Point is, I'm using this bracket and this setup for the fairing. So I had you know, pre-drilled holes and everything for this, but you'll notice basically what I'm doing is I'm just using a, a pry tool plastic pry tool because there's you know I cut this hole relatively tight just so that you know this would I could squeeze this in there and keep water from you know obviously getting up in there but it's extremely tight and I force it through the hole and then I'll end up putting the plug back on and then I have extenders that I'll tie into this and run to the turn signal plug that sits on the neck here all right, so left and right turns are right there. So we'll run those over to that. So I'm just doing the one side. All right, so I got that ready to go. I'm gonna do the other side. Let me just show you what else I'm doing, okay? Uh, where is my two-sided tape? So I've got some two-sided tape here. Just some Gorilla mounting tape. And you know, because this is a single bolt here, I'm just gonna loosen this up and put two two-sided tape there is a gap. See that gap right there? I'm just gonna put a piece in there just to keep it, you know, from, from twisting it all from the elements. You know, this is fiberglass, right? So you can only make this so, so tight. You don't wanna crack the fiberglass. So I'm just gonna lay a piece in there for both sides and, uh, you know, help it to stay in place. 
Uh, so guys, they, you know, bear with me, okay? Because you know, I'm trying to do this piece by piece. I can't. I don't have another person here to to film and watch me to go through all this. So listen, I'm happy to answer questions. You know, feel free to to shoot me a comment or whatnot. And you know, throughout this process, I'll, you know, if you guys are looking to do something like this, I'll be happy to answer anything. Stay tuned. All right, so I finished mounting those. So they'll be underneath. Um, I didn't mention I did use the locking washers, which traditionally, if they're installed under the handlebars, it's the same hardware. So um, behind the acorn nut is a locking washer. That's all Harley hardware. Um, I have to just set up the plug ends now. I'll put the plug ends on and then I'll get ready to mount it up to the bike. All right, so not the best light guys, but this is what I did, all right? So, um, you know, I took a picture of this obviously before I depinned everything. So I have that on now, and this is what we're, we'll extend from this to what I showed you previously along the neck where the plug ends are. Same thing for this side, all right? So we're ready to mount this up. Um, if any of you are wondering, yes, I'm using Loctite uh, on everything, so I didn't show it, but uh, believe me, it's here somewhere. Um, but anyway, bike's sitting up. Gonna put this guy on. I already have the brace prepped, so I have it taped up because trying to feed that that bolt through is, is a real pain in, real pain in the balls when you... Uh, you're one guy and I try to do that in advance. So I'm thinking if I can just sit this up here, I may be able to finagle this underneath and and get that started up and then just tighten this down. Cause I got, I got two here and then two on the other side and they mount into the fairing on those other holes that you're seeing. All right, so that brace runs across right there. All right, stay tuned. All right guys, sorry, I, uh, Again, this is very difficult to do by yourself. All right, so this has been installed. Um, let me just go through it real quick. All right, so there's a bracket, right, for the headlight, and you'll see one, two, three, four. So I have that all set up. I'll mount that, hook this in. I'm just gonna shrink wrap or uh, heat this to tighten that up a little bit. Um, I gotta drill these out and clean them out. I, I should have done that before I even put it on, but let's take a look. So there are the turns. Okay, that's what they look like underneath. You see two bolts right there. That's the brace that runs across. It's mounted to the frame right there. I have a nice little black cap to put over that hex. Uh, cover that up, because you know, Russ Warnemont gives you, they don't give you black hardware. So I actually went and bought all black hardware and swapped everything out. So let's take a peek, see if you can see that. Other than those, those nuts, I couldn't find those nuts for that. Um, all right, so turn signal bolt there, plug, two bolts for the brace, come across, same situation, Loctite it, um, all set. All right, so just to show you quickly my clearances. Remember, I had to do a lot of cutting, right? So see if you can see that. All good. All good, and those that bottom of the triple tree, that um, that bottom clamp, that's actually above. I know the the video is not that great. It's actually above the bottom of the um, of the fairing, so it's not hitting anything. I'll show you. That's probably a better picture. So it goes underneath that curve. I can clear no problem. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I tightened everything down. I'm going to install the Clockworks nine inch flare should be super nice. I just have to tap those out, get the paint out, and then I'll uh, I'll come back and show you what I'm doing to install the, the windshield. Looking good, guys, almost done here. Oh, a couple other things quickly. I did put the dust boots from Harley on. I took off the, the sliders, the upper sliders for, you know, they were so fat, and to be honest with you, I'm eventually gonna take these off, and I'm gonna swap out the forks with like brass or black, and I just won't have these at all. They'll just be, you know, exposing the fork. 
Um, I did put on the um, Galfer Rotors 11.8 Wave. I think that's the style from um, Get Lowered Cycles. Shout out to them. Um, and I'll you know I'll go through this guys on all the different mods and stuff. I'll do a ride review and everything. I'll kind of show you the final product. I did put mirror, new mirrors on, so I'll I'll hit on all that. Just quickly wanted to show you the fairing on there. All right, guys. We'll talk soon. Almost done. Okay guys, um, I'm back. I had to tap those, drill and tap those, um, you know, just paint in there and whatnot. So I've done that. Here is the nine inch flare. So I'm just gonna start mounting this. I have all black hardware, which I got because again, the Russ Warnemont sends, um, or the hardware that comes with the kit, I'll just say is, is all uh, stainless. So, I'm gonna mount this up and I'll show you what it looks like after the fact. All right, just got some lunch. I feel much better. All right, let me show you my next step, okay? So these are the 15 inch extensions I'm gonna, I'm gonna run, okay, from the plug-in that you see down there into there, all right? So, on my on on the right side turn signal it's the six pin okay so i have the six pin and i will hook one of these up to that one and then i have the four pin here okay um i think i already said it so i i, I got these from la choppers you can find them on jmp or jp cycles revzilla places like that but this is the end you need to go into the stock turn signal receptacle. Um, these are the male ends and obviously the female ends. So um, let's see. So I'm going to, I'm going to set these up and you know, I know, I know the placement of these. These are relatively simple to deep in. Um, so I have pictures from what I need, you know, placement wise to, or slot wise to do here. So I'm going to put these on and then I'm going to hook them in and can, I'm going to heat this up too, to get this nice and firm and tight. So it's not sliding around, um, just with my heat gun. So that's the next thing. And, uh, I'll get back to you. All right, guys. So what I've done so far since the last jumped around a little bit, I finished installing the headlight. I'd love to replace this and put like a, a Baja designs, like LP six in here. That'd be nice. Um, super expensive, tough to get right now too. But anyway, I, uh, you'll notice I'm just weather stripping. Here's one of the turn signal plugs. So here's the male that goes into the female that's mounted to the bottom of the, um, fairing. And this is the other male end. Um, that will go into the female end that's right there on um, along the neck. So I've already done one. You'll see it. We can get to it. Hold on. Oh, it's right down there. So basically what I've done is I weather stripped it tied it off over there so that when I'm turning my, I don't hit that or catch that, I have enough clearance. Uh, and I'll do the other side here in a second and show you what it looks like. Hey guys, good morning. Um, it's day two. Uh, I uh, had to stop what I was doing yesterday. Uh, I'm gonna finish up today. There's not much left, but I just uh, wanted to check back in. Um, I've chopped this video up quite a bit, stop, start. Uh, again, it's hard to hard to film on your own. Um, but let me just uh, let me just run you through uh, the last things that I worked on, and um, we'll finish up. All right, so a little side shot of it. Let me fire it up. I'm not turn it on, but so I had to uh, where I last left off. I was wiring up the turn signals. Um, got everything going, all good there. Let me 
we talked about it earlier on. I uh, mounted everything underneath the fairing. That was the, the path that I took. Um, just quick show you behind the fairing. All the setup here. So there's the left turn signal. I got a lot of stuff going on in here. Gonna clean a little bit of this up over time. I need to replace these uh, braking clutch lines because they're just, they're so damn long and you know, they're all over the place. There's so much extra length here. So I'm gonna do like the road glide setup with the 90 degree banjos, just tighten that all up so it runs closer to the bars and I don't need all this extra length because of the, the 16 inch Car Carlinis that I had previously. Uh, just just so much there, so I'm gonna do that, but Let's see what else did I finish up. Oh, yeah, so I put the cover on you probably just saw that That comes with the kit um, I'm gonna reach out to to RWD because this cover is Not very clear. I mean it probably isn't coming in that well with the camera, but the plastic is really cloudy. Um, just gonna see if they can send me out a new one that's a little bit um, more crisp because it's it's not really showing that well. But I don't have a ton left to do. Um, the fairing is is ready to rock. It's all good. There was one little issue with the paint. You may have saw it in the beginning, uh, down below by the the left turn signal. I'm gonna get my painter to fix that. I already talked to him. Um, he just needs to buff some of the some of the some of that out. There's like a a light scratch. Um, looks like there was like looks like the the paint was running a little bit, but I know he can kind of clean that up a little bit. Um, but all in all, you know, it looks pretty good. I will say, um, you know, the fairings that come from RWD. It's a nice fairing, but I don't know if they're short on staff and they're just rushing, but they, there were a lot of, it wasn't primed correctly. So just know that like when you take it for prep, you may be spending a lot more money than you originally anticipated because it needs a lot of prep. I mean, it was primed twice. Um, you know, he put filler in, you know, when they were drilling, they, they kind of, in some spots, some of the fiberglass was cracked. So just be aware of that. Um, I mean, it wasn't terrible, but it's just, it, it definitely took a lot more work to, to prep it before paint. Um, and even after that, it's not, a, it's not a flawless paint job. I mean, granted, I didn't spend, I mean, it was a small budget, so I didn't want to spend a fortune, but you know, there are some, there are some imperfections you know, where, you know, he just did not spend an exorbitant amount of time prepping the, the fender. So all in all though, the, you know, the paint looks good. Um, you can expect to spend, I would say upwards of, you know, anywhere between four and, I mean, four and 1500 bucks to get that, that fairing painted you know like and the reason being is just because of that prep that prep is a lot um and and you can't like i know some other vendors out there like imz elite um you know you can get it painted but i highly recommend you don't get it painted from them um you know because the amount of cutting that i had to do to fit this fairing to this bike you know, it is not plug and play in, and anybody else that's done this, if you listen to Matt Laidlaw and when they built their FXRT, I mean, he, he even clearly says that, you know, they've been doing these fairings for years and, and every one of them that they've done for different bikes has, you know, it's, it's own challenges. None of them are the same. So again, you know, you have to get it raw and then fit it, mock it up and make sure that, you know, you, you make, you take the time to cut get your clearances set uh, and just be ready to, to, you know, pay a little bit of money for a good paint job. I mean, I would say, I said, you know, it was um, TH Customs and I'm in, in New Jersey. So if you're in a tri-state area, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Delaware, even New York for that matter, you know, you can check them out. I'll leave the link, but uh, there, are, there are definitely a bunch of painters out there uh, by me, but 
you know, I didn't want to spend a ton of money, but um, you know, I already said that before, but you know, just if you are looking for, you know, a, a flawless job, you know, be prepared to, to pay extra. And I think that all in all, this fairing, you know, is, is 800 bucks or 800 bucks and change. And then that doesn't even include the, the hardware, you know, the, the brace and all that. So, um, if you guys have any questions, happy to answer, um, even, you know, cost, what it cost me to do this stuff. I mean, I just mentioned what the fairing was, the hardware from RWD, you know, the paint, you know, we're, we're, we're hovering around 2k, you know, all in all. So, um, and I can't even imagine what it would cost to get it installed, you know, if, if you're not handy. Um, but you know, I'm showing you that it's definitely a, it's definitely doable um, from a from a DIY perspective. It's just you know have to have some patience. It's not not too terrible. But anyway, I'm rambling. Um, I have a couple things left to do on the bike. Um, I have some other parts that I'm gonna do an install on. You guys may have saw the short that I did. I have the Trask Checkmate. Um, Right here, this is for the relief of the crankcase pressure. This will sit on, this is a trans cover top. Um, I have some, because I changed, these are just some Sierra 3D um, pegs. I'm gonna use those for highway pegs. I actually had a, um, a Linby multi-bar engine guard here that I needed to swap out. Actually, I didn't need to swap it out, but I, <laughs> I dumped it because I thought that I was going to be tying into that bolt and that's where the Limby hooked up and actually the brace for the fairing is the one above it so uh, so I, I actually didn't need to do that but I did it anyway um, so I need to get those highway pegs installed I have the Ciro 3D um, foot peg mounts um, that I'll use with the Ciro 3D pegs. So I'm gonna put those on. Told you about the checkmate. And then I'm gonna do a three hole change. That That's the kit that's just sitting there. And that's about it, you know? And then I'm gonna <laughs> start riding. So again, you know, for my, for the, the guys that are already, the guys and girls, for everyone that's already subscribed, you know, appreciate the support guys. Um, and for you newbies, you know, hopefully I've earned a, uh, a subscribe, um, you know, please consider subscribing and, um, you know, I'll see you guys on the next one and, uh, you know, get out there and ride. So I just took her out for her maiden voyage and, uh, I was really, really, um, super happy ab about everything. Um, I really appreciate you guys following me along on this journey. Um, it's, it's been a long one, a few months to say the least, but, uh, you know, appreciate the support and, um, you know, uh, just continue, uh, continue working on putting content out there. Can't wait to do more ride videos. Um, it's today's 70 degrees and beautiful here in New Jersey. Um, although that's not going to hold up, but, um, yeah, just keep an eye out for, uh, you know, new content. So smash that bell. So you guys are uh, made aware of new stuff when it posts. Um, please subscribe. Um, again, appreciate the support and, you know, any questions, comments, greatly appreciated. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.